guys. Um, so finally got my camera. So we have such nice quality videos now. Um, so I had a few questions. Um, one was about my like workout schedule. So Monday I usually will do chest um, and shoulders. At least, or you could do chest and tries. Sometimes I do that. Your chest, shoulders, chest and tries. Or sometimes we'll start legs on Monday. Depends. Tuesday's legs. Usually a light leg is Tuesday. Um, sometimes some accessory work, depending on how I'm feeling, because my heavy leg day is at the end of the week. Wednesday is back, just straight back. Thursday is legs again, heavy legs, so heavy squats, heavy glute thrusts, a lot of PRs, heavy deadlifts. Friday's arms, thighs and tries, and some shoulders. I like to superset the shoulders. Saturday is legs, usually. Sunday sometimes I'll go if I don't go Saturday and I'll just push it back. I don't really stress out about my gym schedule, I just push it the day back. Cardio, I do whenever I feel like it. Sometimes I'll wake up and do fancy cardio, that's easiest for me. Bike or um, treadmill or stamina, not running, just lower intensity cardio. High intensity cardio, I usually will do after my workouts. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Not like they usually, sometimes I'll end with Sandmaster, so that's low intensity pretty much. Sunday is a good cardio day. Core, I throw in whenever I feel like it. Usually, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays after legs, I'll do that. Um, another, yes? What? What's oh, the hello? Oh, you say hello? Oh, you say hello? Another question I got was, um, I'm making a vlog right now, I'm gonna kind of so, another question that I had gotten was about the basics of macros and the basics of IFYM. So, pretty much, macros stands for macronutrients. And um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's protein, fats, and carbs. Um, and I think it might be uh, yeah, my, my last vlog. I talked about micros. Fiber, sugars, things like that. That kind of stress me on my well, their vitamins. But pretty much, um, I use a. Um, I use an app to track my macros. I really, um, when I start cutting, I probably won't. I'll probably just write them down in a book. Um, but this is the app. Focus. See how like it's really easily set up for you. Um, it's all right there, um, and then you just plug it in pretty much. So I found my totals on ifym.com using their calculator, but you can also use Katie Hearn Fit has a really good calculator that I like. A lot of people don't, but I do. I've just heard of people who didn't like it, but I think it's pretty easy. You can adjust all the totals like you can on ifym. So uh, I do one pound, uh, one gram of protein for body weight. Um, carbs is kind of subjective based on your goals and then you would select your fat 0 0.4, um, 0 0.5, 0 0.30 grams per pound of body weight. And then maintenance, fat loss, weight gain is pretty much what you would select and there's a whole bunch of other questions. But a lot of people, like you'll look on like, I don't think I'm going to be able to find any, but you'll look on uh, Instagrams and like things like that and like you'll see people eating like all these junk foods and thinking that like like the cookies and the that and the other thing thinking that you can just eat that all the time and I mean I'm sure some people do but I feel like macros just has this I feel like macros just like has this name um that will think that you can eat cake and all these different things when it really isn't like that. Um, it's really kind of just allowing you to eat whatever you want to eat. And I eat, I practice clean macros, so like I'll eat clean, eat all, try to eat all whole foods, all natural foods. But at the same time, like if I have room and I want to have a cookie, I could have a cookie. That's what I like about macros. I don't stress about treating myself. I don't stress about binging or anything like that because I can give myself that leeway where I don't feel the need to binge. So it works for me. It works for a lot of people. But don't get me wrong. I mean, having the flexibility to eat whatever you want is can be too much for some people. So I guess that that can be a little overpowering. But. 
that's my pretty much my beginner's guide to macros. I would just say calculate your totals at first, and then pretty much what you'll do is you'll um, just count each pro gram of protein, fat, and carbs in each thing you eat. So you'll have to look at like the nutrient facts, nutrition facts. Like I typed in the nutrition facts of a pop tart. So it'll look like this, obviously. And then calories, some people count their calories, but I don't, I just don't really think it's really necessary. I kind of just count my macros in, because if you're hitting your macros, in, you should be hitting your calories. If you're a little off, it doesn't really matter. So then you will count your fat, five grams, carbs, protein. Now, what I was saying about micros before, You'll see your sugars and your fiber, but obviously Pop Tart doesn't have a very good source of fiber because um, it's less than a gram. So sugars, I try to stay within 30 grams a day, um, no more than that really. And then fibers, I try to get to about 25, 28, 30, 35 ish grams of fiber a day. I don't really worry about it as much when I'm bulking. When I'm cutting, I definitely try to hit that. And I'll definitely go over when I'm bulking, but cutting, you definitely want to try to hit it. Right, Nubian? Right, Nubian? That's all I got for you for the beginner's guide to macros.